now let's run the rule over some of the stories in the news over the past few days and put the week in focus. I'm not interested in all Westminster politics. It doesn't matter. What matters is the future of our country. And that's what I'm squarely focused on. But he's now so diminished that his entire focus is stopping his MPs holding the sword of Damocles above his head. Yeah. I mean, I just thought the whole thing was very positive. Um, if she chooses at some future date to talk about her health, that's entirely up to her. So the devil is often in the detail of this, of that precisely how the different aspects of uh, emission reduction are going to be delivered. We are now nearly halfway to net zero. We continue to decarbonise faster than the UK as a whole. And I am really proud of the actions that we have taken in pursuit of that. Now we are firmly on track to bring inflation down to its target 2%. This is the lowest headline rate for two and a half years. A Wales that recognises that we can celebrate our differences and take pride in all those things that draw us together and make us who we are. I never ever thought I would ever see it, live to see the day that they would, they would, they would have chosen people to vote for him, you know. We pay this! We pay us! I would have stayed on at my job. I could have stayed on and worked longer, but I wasn't given that opportunity and that's where it's wrong. We've paid in, we've given the government their, their tax, their national insurance, all these years. One thing they could have done to us is let us know what was happening. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? Now! With us in the studio is the lawyer and broadcaster, Benny Briggs McKinley, and the journalist and commentator, Anna Burnside. Thanks uh, both for joining us. Yeah. So experts say that Scottish Government won't make its climate change 2030 uh, mm -hmm. target. It was a very hard hitting report. Um, how much do you think this cuts through to the general public? I mean, the people who are always going to be climate skeptics, they don't, it doesn't matter whether or not we hit anything, they don't believe climate change is real, we're not going to get to those people. But the people who actually are serious about it, they, I think it's, it was quite you know, disappointing, but we're in Scotland, we have great minds here, we can still hit certain milestones, whether or not it's by 2030, doesn't matter. We'll still get there, because we were one of the, rest, we had our deadlines way ahead the rest of the UK, so I really think it's going to be okay. I think it's going to be okay. It, it, it is a big challenge, isn't it? And the Scottish government has been very ambitious with its targets, yeah. Anna. They've set these ambitious targets, but then when you don't meet them, it looks like it's coming off the rails. You know, I'm not sure that that was the, the best strategy to, to be so ambitious. I think it's a huge ask um, for the Scottish government. Mm. I have my doubts uh, about how well it's going. I, I don't see them taking into account hugely the fact that 40% of the housing stock in Scotland is tenements, makes a lot of the things that you need to achieve um, to hit these targets really, really difficult. You know, how do you fit a heat pump into a tenement building? How do you charge an electric car? There's a whole range of things that we're going to have to be seriously doing that are very hard to square with our housing stock. Yeah, and how much do you think people are on board with changing their lifestyles? I think those who are, like I said, those who are will. Recycling, using less power, putting straight up the lights, making sure you conserve things. People are putting, doing their bit. And if everybody does their bit, we will, we will reach certain targets. We might not reach 75% reduction by 2030, quite ambitious, but we will hit certain targets. But do you think sometimes people think it's a bit futile when we're just one small country when there's countries like India, China, America, that are massive polluters. People think um. that, and people <clears throat> also think, well, why am I getting the blame for this when companies mm. are actually the ones that uh, have the mass responsibility to tackle climate change? And I do get quite cross when it becomes about individuals, you know, recycling yogurt mm. pots, when actually that, in the grand scheme of things, you know, what's going to make the difference is governments leading on serious decarbonisation and making sure that companies yeah. actually follow their lead and do what's required. That's the level of change we need. Yeah, okay. that's true, uh, but we should, we should do our bit. Okay, absolutely. Should do their bit. Let, let's move on to uh, Von Gethens okay. uh, becoming the, the Welsh First Minister, the first uh, black man to lead a country in mm. Europe. How significant is this to you, Ben? 
happen. It's significant as long as not seen as a to as tokenism. I think he has a very good pedigree behind him. People know who he is. His work does help minister in, in wills. And it's great to see a black man, but that's not the main point. The point is, are his policies good? Will he follow through? I know Wills is looking, they ha they really want a better health system and, and child care system, and he's promised that. If he can bring that into being, then he will be off to the races. So I think, yes, it's great to see a black man, you know, first black this, first black that. It's amazing. And right now we have, you know, all the brown men mm -hmm. who are running the, in the UK. But it's not it's about the policies and what he can do. And if he can achieve them, I think Wills will be in good hands. Uh, Anna, what do you think about um, his appointment? A sign of progress? Will it inspire young people? I, I really hope it will inspire young people. I know the phrase, you can't be what you can't see, is a bit of a cliche, but I do it's actually, th I really do think it's true. I love the story about when Angela Merkel was the German chancellor for 16 years, I think, a little boy asking his mum, mum, can men be chancellor? You know, <laughs> it, 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 that actually does work. You know, that mm -hmm. little boy's who had their whole lives, Angela Merkel had been the leader of the country. They, just, they thought it was a woman's Thanks. job. And, you know, so I, I do believe that that's true. And I hope that's the case um, with, with his appointment. I think it's great to see. Yeah, and mm -hmm. as you say, we've got you know Rishi Sunak as Prime Minister, mm -hmm. um, Sadiq Khan as the Mayor of London, Hamza Yusuf First Minister uh, here in Scotland, <laughs> um, Von Gethin in Wales. I mean, this <laughs> this is remarkable, isn't it? It is remarkable, and I think the optics are very good for those who are very progressive and who want to see change and for little young minority ethnic people who are growing up here, born here, growing up here, seeing people who look like them. Like Anna said, representation matters, it does. But at the same time, I think some of the native um, members of our society, when I say native, I mean actual native, Scottish and English and Welsh people might think it's a bit too much change at once because seeing the optics of it, seeing all four of them in power at the same time, maybe some people might be scared of that kind of change. What would you think about that, Anna? I'm not scared of that. I mean, I think it's interesting what you were saying about policies. I think, and, and you know, when you see someone like James Cleverly, um, <sighs> you think, well, actually, you know, does it matter that he's black? You know, he's a Tory. So I think it's quite, it's quite interesting now that we're, we're well be up, but we are seeing um, black and ethnic minority people, you know, standing up defending what I consider really unpleasant policies. So I, mm -hmm, I mean, I suppose mm -hmm, that's, that's mm -hmm. progress as a way, you know, it's, it's not, it's not bad. It doesn't, it's more than, um, it's about more than the colour. It's like you were saying, mm. Benny, it's about more than the colour. It's about, well, what are they actually going to deliver? I mean, yeah. from a representation point of view, young, youngsters seeing them doing well, yeah. that's a great thing. Yeah, that's absolutely. A great thing. And just to finish, because I know you want to talk about this, <laughs> um, endless speculation about Kate Middleton this week, um, all sports is conspiracy theories. What, what have you made of it? Do you care, Anna? Uh, no. <laughs> On the list of things I'm not interested in, it's pretty high up. Um, but, you know, I've enjoyed this as much as anyone else else you know it, it, it it's a horrible day you want to talk about has she had a Brazilian bum lift or not <laughs> or someone yeah. suggested she's just had a really bad fringe cut in or something exactly you know. I mean, <laughs> I love it, you, my Bonnie. thing is to bring the same energy the same people not the same group of people the same people who are given making all kinds of of horrible treatment for five years even when she was pregnant are the same people who are saying oh give Kate her space and let her be and give her some grace the cognitive dissonance is insane but yeah. Here we are. Absolutely. Just Here let the we are. woman rest Here it and get over oh. it. We'll, we'll, we'll have to leave it there. But Anna and Benny, thank you so much for joining us no this evening.